Fly fishing shops around the country are at the center of the latest hair trend, feather extensions. Stores are running out of fly fishing hackle as hairstylists are snatching up the feathers for their salons. We had these young ladies coming in looking for all manner of feathers, different colors, stuff that we didn't normally stock. So as we started getting that in, they bought everything. We were amazed. They were buying way more feathers than the fly tying guys were. The feathers are not easy to come by. Feathers sold online are fetching hundreds of dollars more than the usual price. Roosters are genetically bred and raised to grow these long saddle feathers. In most cases, they don't survive the plucking. I have heard stories of guys being all upset because they can't find a saddle because the girls have bought them all. Well, I used to have them sit on my wall for a year or two before somebody would buy one. That doesn't happen anymore. If you want one that shows up, you better move fast. So the craze has left hairstylists scrambling to find rooster feathers. For Terry Colby, the owner of a hair salon in Arizona, buying the rooster feathers was a risky investment. I said to him, okay, what if I bought $700 worth? And he said, well, that's really nice of you, but the people in California are buying $5,000 at a time. So. I yanked out my Capital One card and just said, I hope I'm doing the right thing. So far, the gamble has paid off. Selling for $9 a piece, the feathers made up a quarter of the salon's profits last month. The demand remains high as fly fishermen and hairstylists across the country vie for rooster feathers. I've seen the feathers on a lot of different people, and I, I always wondered where they went and got them or if it was a kit or something. I didn't know where people were getting them until I came here. <laughs> Girls trying out a new look with fishing hackle in their hair. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.